Hi there. We got a little project here I want to do. I found this uh, little ATV spreader. It doesn't really say what it can spread. On Marketplace, it's brand new. The guy had for a year or two sitting in his shed. And I could tell it was brand new and he had to package of hardware on it. He said he paid 120 bucks for it. I didn't pay much for it. Um, he just wanted to get rid of it. And so I'm not actually sure how it mounts. He wasn't real friendly, so he says, you want it or not? And I'm like, okay, bye. So I think I want to mount it something like this. I don't want it up so high that it, uh, you know, sprays up in here. But it's got a baffle here, so I think it'll throw sideways anyway. We can find out. But what I'd like to do is put rock salt and sand. And we've got a 500-foot driveway that's a sheet of ice. And then right up to the door here a lot. And a circle and a turnaround. And I want to see if this will hold sand. I think the, the hopper should hold around, you know, a 50-pound bag. The sand I've got in bulk. And that's going to be heavier, so I'll probably just... Uh, try a little bit of that first and then uh, I'm not sure where to mount it but it looks like it mounts right on the rack up here and what you get with it I just some clamps so it's got to go to the rack and it looks like there's I don't know four dump them out and see what we got here I wanted Dawson to do this project this is on his four-wheeler but he doesn't feel well today, so I just want to get these projects going. We got one, two, three, looks like we got six of them, so that's quite a few. There's holes back here and holes up front, and there's a total of five. On this, there's um, two wires, red, black, so it's a 12 volt. And here's an adjustment how far to open and this knob turns it's a zero through five in half increments and so I think if he has throttle on that hand he could just turn around on this hand and turn it on I'm sure we don't need to adjust it much if all at all and to wire it I didn't want to do you know, a permanent mounted switch like he's got on his um, winch. I didn't want to get this too cluttered up and then to wire it and go down through and all that. So what I did on Amazon, I searched on for like a momentary switch or a cigarette lighter switch. And that looks like six feet, right? That's more than that. Six, eight, six. It's almost 10 feet of wire. And what he's got here on the side is a uh, cigarette lighter that he hasn't used. He was going to charge his cell phone or something. But on this switch, there's a light on it. And that's how you turn it on. Let's see if it works. I don't know if the cigarette lighter works on this. Make sure my wires aren't touching here. And it doesn't turn on, so it must be keyed. And that lights up. But before we get any farther, let's test to see if the thing even works. And uh, what I'll do. I think is clean up my mess here or just turn it upside down. That's what we'll do. And black and red, black and red. That should be pretty simple. I thought I wanted him to do it. Maybe do a little video on it, but he didn't feel well and the winter's approaching very quick. We're almost December here. We've already had our snow. It's mostly melted, a little bit left in the woods. It's about 33 or 4 out now. My hands are a little cold. As long as these don't touch, let's test it. 
Nice. And he could be riding and just reach up and whoop. Real simple. And then it's keyed. So that's a safe way to run the thing. I like that. And the wire is plenty long. And if it mounts here, I wonder if we can just maybe use one or two zip ties, go down under the seat right out the back. And if he wants to pull the unit off, just keep it all together. I think that's a good idea. I'm not sure it's going to work, but we have, I don't know the percentage grade down there. It's not a 45 degree, but for 200 feet, it's very steep. And that's where everybody gets stuck. And that's why I purchased chains for the tractor because it is, I don't know how many times I got stuck with a tractor trying to plow down there. So let's get started on this. Well, I don't know how this mounts because I didn't get any instructions or anything, but it can't be that difficult. Like I said, there's some holes in the tube here. We're just going to take a bracket, a clamp, and see what happens. See if I have to drill any holes or not. There's one here with a clamp over. Could almost just go up underneath like this. Go right up into that. Let's see. I could probably drill a couple more holes in this tube. That's probably what I should do is get the drill. See that'll line right up nicely. I'm just not sure how far back to put it. I don't want it so far back it interferes in the garage, you know. Um, some powder coat in the way here. It's like a powder coated paint on it. I probably could have looked up some kind of installation on line on different brands, but I don't I don't even see a brand on this. So we just put a nut to hold it. And then I think I'd like that actually. That way if he's got a second rider, they're not leaning on it. Not supposed to have a rider, but we do. We don't, if we're not, you know, going fast. I think if there was another hole here and here, I could clamp the front. And then maybe on the side over here, I could use like this bracket. Because this, this can't go left or right. And we could do something like this. I think they're made to go on, you know, quick. I wonder why they don't give you a total U-bolt. That would be better, because then it clamp and hold. But it's not a big deal. And I think this lines up even. I think if I drilled another hole somewhere over here, Or maybe out here. Probably here on the end would be better. And then I could just do a hook over back here. That's what I could do. I don't know. Let me go get a drill and a quarter inch bit, maybe five sixteenths. Give it a little bit of room. I think that ought to work. I think ideally, the way I'd like it if it was mounted on my wheeler, is drill right over and put one bolt all the way through with a lock nut. Just zip it on with a little drill zip, 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 and be done with it. Because we're going to put a little weight in it. Let me go get a drill. I'll drill a couple holes in the tube. I don't want to drill any holes in this wheeler without asking him. We got the old squirrel out here helping. 
What you doing? He's snooping. All right, so I got a quarter inch bit. Got a drill. Oh, maybe I'll start off with a smaller one. An eighth inch or something. Maybe a pilot. And what I want to do is definitely hold way up here in the front. And these, if I went over, I don't think they, this could just hook under. This would go over. You tighten that down, that would come up. See, I don't like that. But if I went right through it, then I could do that. So how about we go right here on the edge of this. stages then. here we've got the uh, not the throttle but the control on this side so we should probably put one somewhere back there I wonder where the best spot would be stuff in the way. Will that go up? Should go right up through there. Yep. A little hard to drill right there, but I'll take a little mark. A little pen and mark that. Maybe I'll remove it. Drill it. I don't want to hit his framework. 
put it right, right about there. We'll pull this off and do it. So it should only be a couple of minutes to remove this, I would think. And it's not directly fastened. All right, let's see if I can drill that. I guess I gotta do it off camera, you can't see it. All right, I decided to uh, drill them from the bottom up, which made it easier. And I did both sides so that the clamps would look even. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and come up through, see if they line up now. That one does. I don't know if I'll look for some lock washers. I don't think these will stay still, not being a lock nut. I might have some quarter lock nuts, but I'll hunt that up. Let's get this mounted here first. Make sure everything's going to work. Oh, got to be under there first. This will give Dawson something to do in the winter months helping out. Um, I've fallen out there. My uh, Mickey boots here, they uh, don't have a whole lot of tread. They keep my toes warm, but they don't have a whole lot of tread on them. And the ice is slippery. And when his grandmother comes over and visits, I don't want her slipping and falling. So some of this reason is to spread some salt without walking way down the driveway and see if I can get him to help maintain it. And let's see if I can get the hole started here. Check it out, that works. That's not too bad looking. Really. The only thing I don't like, like I said, is there's no lock knot. And if I put a lock washer being on a tube, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But it may not vibrate enough to say so. See if I got some kind of hardware or double nut it. We got four nuts. Maybe I could double nut it and then use up most of our hardware. I'm glad it came with hardware. It was really cheap. I forget how much. Enough to it's worth playing on. And when the weight he sits on it, it's gonna go down a little. I think he's got too much air in his tires too. Cause they're not squatting at all they get better traction so I think I'll double nut it but I don't need to worry about that now so I don't need to buy anything here's our control the gate slides forward and back that's fully open rock salts pretty big pieces so I might leave it open for rock salt and then turn it down by loosening this going to three or something and then do that for sand I don't know. We'll see. We got about two yards of sand over there, so he can use that. Now we got to run our wires, and they got to come through here and be out of the way. Well, I couldn't find my Wagos. I thought about Wagos are real quick. The levers, just lever them right back open. But I've got two waterproof connectors. They got the gel in them. I had to repair on a project. And uh, I think I'll use that. And we don't have any power to it right now. Just put these together. 
this should be quick to get off and should be able to reuse it. It's basically like a, a gel in there. It tightens up. And then I'm not sure I'm going to even tighten up the double nuts on that yet either because I kind of want to make sure this is going to work. I don't want to do a lot of permanent kind of stuff here and this thing won't even function. So I think if I leave a little slack, I don't know if I want slack out here actually because it should be flying out here. So I'll probably tie this back here. And then we'll pull this back out of the way the best we can. Just to keep it from getting caught in case he runs out in the woods or something. I don't want that very tight either. I'll cut these off after. I don't want a stick to pull that loose. Get hooked on something. So I think if it works and he has fun on it, he's actually gonna wanna do it. And that would be nice. Now remember, we gotta stay away from the muffler. Where is that? That's away from the muffler, yep. All right, I'm gonna pull ahead and put some sand in it and we'll test it. And I'll go ahead and put this latch on wide open at first. And let's give it a test, see if it's gonna work. Remember, I didn't tighten up any of them nuts yet. I just wanna see if it's gonna work first. Let's see here. So the sand looks like it's going to work while I'm sitting on the machine. Let's see here. You can reach it. Yep. Right there. Open his back. Wide open his forward. And then of course it's flat top so we can't see it. I would imagine if it's going to throw sand that it should throw salt just fine. Not sure if I want to throw salt out right now, but we would empty that hopper out and it looks like it threw some up on the fenders here too. So I wonder if I'm going to want to, 
little baffle here. I know some are down on a hitch mount, but they're still up pretty high. I don't know. I don't want this throwing dirt on the machine. And uh, let me uh, review the video and see how well it worked. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it looks like it worked fine. All right, I'm going to dump in the rest of this and test it. I don't want to get the salt out, but I'm assuming as long as it'll throw this sand with little tiny stones in it, it's going to throw salt. Maybe the vibration of the machine will shake it down. The hopper is about this full. Let me run around the driveway and see. You watch me and see if I can get rid of that sand here in a couple minutes. I'll turn it on when I get going. That's what I'll have to teach Dawson is once you're under motion where you want to be, open and turn it on, shut it off, and then close it. But we'll just figure that out. And then uh, let's see what we got out here. to make sure that's what got stuck in the pin there but I think as long as it's broke up and not damp we scoop some in a shovel with a shovel and threw them in the bucket but it's got some chunks if these weren't in there and that probably would empty that right out but I think this ought to work pretty slick so I'm gonna want to run it on wide open and not much debris hit me. I didn't really feel any. Let's see if it'll go again. and mix got little stones in it I think if I filter that better oh there's sticks in it that's probably why it wasn't working we just scooped it up off the ground over here but I think if we had see there's sticks in it now, that's a stone so I'll filter it through some house screen to get some finer stuff and then it won't stop in the machine but this thing really throws it and so I would imagine if it's going to throw it, you know, 15 feet backwards or whatever, it's going to throw it 15 feet wide. And we got a 12 foot driveway, so you should be able to run down the center, 
come back, go down and back a couple times, should empty that hopper out. And we don't need a ton of it, but I think just enough on that ice to go down and check the mail or get up to you there. So I think this is a win, guys. I think, I think Dawson will like to play with that. This he can unhook, leave it sitting in there. It's out of the way. These connectors, I would prefer to use like a Wago with a lever lock rather than a twist on, but I think, uh, or maybe a bullet plug. Maybe I'll look, I, I know I got them, I just couldn't find them. But I think this is gonna work. Uh, the rock salt, that's pretty important. But like I said, I know that we gotta have a little smaller stuff than that in there. But um, yeah, I think this is gonna be slick. The next thing he's got to do is um, he's got to hook the plow up and and this thing's ready to plow and sand all in one and uh, this should keep him busy this winter especially if we get snow like buffalo six feet at one time so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time